um, Dr. Benazwihio, um, with your dad scan, I imported the DICOM data into the software. It's called Nobel Clinician. And you can see a lot of detail that we don't need. At the moment, you can see your dad's uh, features. You see he had his eyes closed. Yes. And he was holding a little jig in between his teeth. You see it mm -hmm. right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. We don't need this data. So we'll adjust the rendering, the ISO value, until we see only the actual jaw. Mm -hmm. So on the left-hand side, you see the 3D rendering. On the right-hand side, you see the individual cross-sections. Mm -hmm. So as I move the cross-sections, you see it moving along the, uh, along the arch. Okay, I can possibly uh, define the arch a little bit better. Okay, so this is how we define the arch. So the cross-sections will move along this line right in here. Okay, so that's mm -hmm. pretty good. Okay, so now the question is, um, where are implants uh, feasible and where the nerve is? So you can see the mental foramen, sure. right? You can tell where it is. Very clean. You see it here and you see it also on the other side. Yes. So under different circumstances, for some reason I couldn't delineate the nerve, uh, but uh, it looks like your dad has a lot of good bone. Yes. Okay. So I would say the following. Uh, let's try to position some implants uh, in between the mental nerves, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. And we'll see what sizes uh, sure. fit. Now, what's missing here is where the teeth are going to be. Mm -hmm. So in principle, you need to have some type of scan appliance sure. that shows teeth, mm -hmm. because we're placing implants totally uh, in random but at least we know sure. the, the measurements. Okay. Is that pretty clear? Yes, right. Okay, right. okay you got it. Yeah. Okay, so let's put an implant in there. Okay, so place an, place an implant. Uh, the choice of implant is really yours. So we'll place one implant. Okay, and then it'll give you a menu, which, menu, which, uh, which implant you, you decide to do. So, it, so let's do Nobel Active, because it's a similar one. Pardon? Okay, this software is, um, is a closed platform, meaning you can only choose Nobel implants. Okay. Nobel implants and... Nobel BioCare? Only Nobel BioCare, exactly. But... Um, it comes close to the uh, It all depends. It all depends. You know, what we'll do, we'll choose this, uh, this uh, implant here, Nobel Active. Okay. And then uh, it'll still give us the, the measurements. Uh, yeah, the which, which, so we'll, it shows 11.5. 4.3. Uh, 4.3. It chose it for us. It chose it for but you can adjust it. So I'm just selecting this. Okay. You have a lot of bone. I mean, you have I incredible. Your dad has a lot of bone. That's right here. Okay. Uh -huh. um, then we'll place one more implant. So it picks the diameter based on what the rainbow. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It's, it's totally random, just right. based on the tooth location. I see. Now I'll pick one that is mesial to the to the um, mm -hmm. to the nerve. So we'll use, um, let's do one more implant. Okay, click one more implant in here. Okay, same one, 4.3 by, let's put a 11.5. Okay, now you see it, it's red. Yeah. It's showing us some type of collision between the two implants. <laughs> you replace it too close. Okay, mm -hmm. so it's not a problem. What we can do is um, we can uh, basically move the implant. Okay, so we'll just move them, move one of them, mesial distal. Okay, so now the warning is gone. Mm -hmm. Situation is a little bit different there. Bone is a little bit more resorbed. You see that? Yeah. You see, this is the mental foramen. You see it right here. Mm -hmm. So as I go distal to it, a little bit of a different story, but your dad still has really good bone. So let's place another implant in there. Okay. How far away from the nerve you want to be? Well, my cutoff is about two millimeters, yeah. not to go closer to two millimeters. Since I'm doing the operation, should I do three? <laughs> Sorry? If I'm doing the operation. No, you'll do it computer guided. Two is, uh, is very sufficient. Okay, so number two 20. Is very little. Uh, it is little, but it's considered a, a safe, safety zone, especially if you use computer guidance. Sure. Okay. So what we'll do now, we'll take uh, another position, we'll parallel an implant to it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So 
we'll add an implant and parallel it. Okay. Okay, so we have two parallel implants. Now I'm going to add one more distal. Your dad is blessed with very good bone Thanks. and safe, so he's, uh, he's in good shape. <clears throat> he's in good shape. So I'm going to add one more. I'm sorry, I'm going to add. This is an abutment. We're going to add another parallel implant. It's 85. 85 years old? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Amazing bone. Amazing bone. Okay, so we'll add one more parallel implant in the posterior. Okay. And then we'll go to the anterior. Go to the, you see the anterior is a little bit different, but you still have very good, very good bone. So I'm going to add one more implant here in the front. That's going to be costly for your dad. <laughs> yeah. We'll <laughs> you make have, him a deal. You have we'll to give, him a deal. Give, give him a good price. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So in the 26th location. And let's do one in around the 23 location. Okay, and now let's see what's happening in the posterior mandible around number 19 location. 19, around this area, place one implant. Okay. Okay, so these implants are placed totally um, arbitrarily, okay, at the moment. Okay, at the moment they're all arbitrary. Okay, so how many implants did I place? I placed, seven. what are we looking at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, you know, what you can see here is that your dad has enough good bone yeah. to have eight implants safely. Safe. Okay, so you're in good shape. Yeah. All you need to focus on is the correct spread yeah. of the implants and the angulation. Okay, now it's hard for us to, to figure out the angulation because we don't know where the teeth are. So what you'll do, you'll take the new denture mm -hmm. and you'll make a scan appliance with it. Right. And what we'll need now is to get a new scan with the scan appliance. Yeah. So when we do the planning, we can now figure out which, um, which angle or which position. Because you see each implant, you have so much leeway. Your dad has huge jaws. <laughs> He has, a, he has a lot of bone. You can go longer. You can go wider. Uh -huh. What is uh, the thing about nerve radiation that sometimes they have an extra branch you can cut into? No? Not in your case. I mean, I would send it, run it by a radiologist. Yes. I mean, if you're looking... What is that other uh, It's hard to tell. You know, usually when there's a nerve variation or uh -huh. double nerve, uh -huh. uh, usually you'll see two circular structures right on top of the other. And I'm not saying it doesn't have it. It needs to be read by a radiologist. Every case, but, though? Every case needs to be read by a radiologist. Is that right? Every case. That's okay. the that's the rule. They would tell us. But in the, in this in this case in this case you see the nerve is very low. You're looking at um, you see you can measure. You're looking at between the top of the nerve to the top of the ridge, 20 millimeters. That's huge. Wow. Now. That's huge. Yeah. Now the bone here is probably not healed well. You see, uh, these it was are, just after surgery. Okay. It looks like particles, but your your dad has very good bone quality, so. What I believe you need to do at the moment, okay, if we look at the, um, if we look at the arch, okay, mm -hmm. uh, these implants are placed arbitrarily right now, mm -hmm. but with very little tweaking and moving around and seeing the actual teeth on the, on the screen, you'll be able to adjust and find out where, where you want these implants to be. So summary, um, eight implants. Not ten. Better. You don't need it. Good. You don't need it. You can have a very nice spread of uh, eight implants. Yeah. You don't need any more. Right. Because I want to self cleanse, but I heard stories where it's hard to cleanse. It'll be more, much more difficult to cleanse with ten. Fish. Yeah, yeah, because you'll run out of space in between right. the implants. Sure. So if you have a very good spread eight, of eight implants, okay. if you have a very good spread of implants, yes, um, yeah. of good size, yeah. good uh, size. you're 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 in great shape. Nice. Low risk. Low risk. So good luck. You know, we'll walk, we'll go over the the maxilla. Thank you. Okay? Yes. Awesome. You're welcome.